So once again, you are welcome to Angel Health Academy for the second part of the video of Bloom Taxonomy. The topic for the day is Taxonomy of Objectives Cognitive Domain. The cognitive domain is concerned with the knowledge outcomes and intellectual abilities of a scholar, of a student and skills. The cognitive domain consists of six levels of objectives as per the 1956 taxonomy that is knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis and the evaluation. But these six types of six levels of objectives are revised in 2001 taxonomy. Levels of cognitive domain. The original taxonomy has been made in 1956 but later it is revised in 2001 that is revised taxonomy. In 1956 the taxonomy was in a noun form and later in 2001 it is uh, replaced by verb form. So knowledge is replaced by remember, comprehension is replaced by understand, application is replaced by apply, analysis replaced by analyze and there is a changes in synthesis and evaluation. After analysis in 2001, the revised taxonomy made evaluate and last is create. Instead of synthesis, it is create. So, these are the changes or revised taxonomy of 2001 from original taxonomy 1956. The first two levels that is remember, understand comes under low order thinking skills. Then high order thinking skills include apply, analyze, evaluate and create. Next is mnemonic for cognitive domain. You can remember Newton's law of gravitation to remember the mnemonic of cognitive domain. So, I have made a mnemonic for cognitive domain that is remember under apple tree an intelligent man evaluated something and created law of gravitation. Let us expand this mnemonic. The remember stands for remember, under stands for understand, apple tree stands for apply, an intelligent man stands for analyze. Evaluated something stands for evaluate and created law of gravitation stands for create. So, these are the six revised levels of cognitive domain that is remember, understand, apply, analyze, evaluate and create. The first level of cognitive domain that is remember. In general, the term remember is resembled to knowledge. The meaning of remember, it is defined as recall of specifics and universals. Symbol and compounds, specific and general. So, recall. Recall of methods and process. Recall of pattern, structure, setting. Anything that a student recall comes under remember. The action verb is used in cognitive domain. In first level, remember is define, state, list, name, write, recall, recognize, label, underline, select, measure, describe, identify, etc. The example for cognitive domain first level remember is general example is to remember the name, shape, color and size of a lemon. Name, shape, color, size of a lemon that comes under an example for the cognitive domain level 1 remember. In specific related to nursing define immunity. Any definition? State the four steps of curriculum. Then describe the healing process. All these questions are answered by the students by remembering a particular knowledge of the content. The second level is understand. So, second level of cognitive domain is understand that is comprehension. Meaning is understand concerned with the grasping the meaning of the information received. Now, the students are going to grasp the meaning of the content and relating it for other purpose. That is understanding of ideas, principles or methods and are used cognitively or intelligently respond to the new learning situation when it arises. The action verbs used in understand is identify, justify, indicate, illustrate, represent, formulate, explain, judge, contrast, classify, paraphrase, translate, convert, etc. So, these are the action verbs can be used in to evaluate the understanding of the scholar. The general example for understand is, now the same example we can take regarding the lemon. So, the student understand that lemon is yellow, it is sour and rich in vitamin C. That is understanding about the concept of lemon. The specific examples in nursing that is classify cirrhosis of liver. When the student studied and understand about the cirrhosis of liver, she or he can able to classify that. Then identify the importance of nutrition during the antenatal period. 
So what is the importance of nutrition during the antenatal period that has to be identified by the students and he has to answer for that. Then third level of cognitive domain is apply that is application. Meaning of apply is it is concerned with the ability to use the learned material that is knowledge of ideas, theories, principles, abstract etc. in a new situation or in a concrete situation. So student is already learned a particular material that he is going to apply. So this is application. So action verb used in that is apply, demonstrate, develop, employ, relate, convert, change, calculate, solve, formulate etc. The example for application in general. So adding lemon in a hot water and one teaspoon of honey can be used as a remedy for a sick person. That is an application. 100 minus 25 is equal to 75. That is an application. The specific example in nursing is demonstrates correct use of pulse oximeter. Demonstration. Demonstrates correct use of pulse oximeter. Applies the guidelines for the selection and practice of suitable teaching methods. Then third one is formulates diet plan for patient with diabetes mellitus. So here the student is applying her or his knowledge regarding the diet of the diabetic patients and then planning the diet for the diabetic patients. That is application. Then fourth level is analyze or analysis which is concerned with the cognitive ability to identify the component parts of the learned materials. So component parts of the learned material and they are in the relationship or relationship. The action verb is used in analysis, analyze, identify, criticize, conclude, differentiate, select, separate, compare, contrast, resolve, breakdown, differentiates, discriminates, distinguishes, etc. So here analysis, doing the analysis in what the student has been learned. So here general example is study the lemon flash and examining the skin of the person who applied. Then look out for the levels of vitamin present in the lemon and find out there is a possibility of toxic products pesticides inside the lemon and in such a case it should not be consumed so likewise an analysis or comparison then in relation to nursing the specific example is distinguishes between marasmus and cashew worker both marasmus and cashew worker has got a different symptoms the students in clinical setting identifying and differentiate which is marasmus case and which is cashew worker case then identifying the warning signs of MI, the specific warning signs of MI. Then differentiating the myocardial infarction pain and angina pectoris pain. So this all comes under analysis or analyze. Then fifth level is evaluate. That is evaluation. So it is concerned with giving quantitative and qualitative judgment about the extent to which the materials and methods meet the criteria satisfactorily. So in simple judge whether the learned material is right or wrong. So, students are able to judge the content which she has been or he has been studied whether it is right or wrong. So, action verb used is judge, evaluate, determine, recognize, support, defend, criticize, identify, compare, contrast, justify, appraise, etc. The general example is compare lemon with the other sources. For example, apple or other fruit. Then finally get a conclusion lemon is good source of vitamin when compared to other sources. Specific example compare and contrast any two definition of education. There are various definition of education according to Pestalozzi, according to Mahatma Gandhi, according to Swami Vivekananda. The, it has to be compared the meaning of that definition. So compare and contrast any two definition of definitions of education. So the last sixth level is create that is synthesis. Meaning is concerned with the putting together of parts and elements so as to form a wall, a new product. So combine different type of information to find alternative solution, to get a solution for the particular problem. So the action verb includes combine, restate, summarize, precise, argue, discuss, organize, derive, select, generalize, conclude, compose, create, plan, design, invent, develop, etc. So the general example is creation so planting natural lemon and selling it in a own shop without use of any pesticides then specific example in nursing derives a solution for the hospital waste problem 
derives a solution for the hospital waste problem, summarizes the impact of Consumer Protection Act on the nurse-patient relationship. Summarizes the impact of Consumer Protection Act on the nurse-patient relationship. So, let us summarize the levels of cognitive domain. There are six levels. First level is remember, second understand, third apply, fourth analyze, fifth evaluate and last one is create. So, remember means recognizing and recalling the facts, the information. Then understand means understanding what the facts means. Understanding what the facts means. Then application. Applying the fact, rules, concept and ideas what we have already studied and understand in new situations. Then fourth level is analyze. Breaking down information into component parts and comparing the different informations. Then fifth level is evaluate, judging the value of the information or ideas, whether it is right or whether it is wrong. So judging and rating the value of the information. And last one is creating new ideas, combining the parts to make a new world. So new ideas, developing, designing, implementing and developing new design or new plan. So in short, in remember means the knowledge level describing, able to describe, able to find something. Then second level is recognize or understanding the fact. Third one is applying this fact to, to solve particular problem. Then fourth one is categorizing that is comparing the information what is gathered, what is understood. Then rating that is judging the information, making justification, critic and recommendations. The last is creating that is develop new plans and new designs. So this is about the cognitive domain. So thanks for watching. Hope this video really benefits in your studies. If you feel it is worth, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned with Angel Health Academy for the third part of the video of Bloom's Taxonomy that is Effective Domain with the Mnemonics. Thank you.